Welcome to the 5-Minute History Channel. Today we bring you the fascinating and incredible life of the only woman in history that has ever received Nobel Prizes in two separate fields of science. Remember to like and subscribe. Enjoy this video. Madame Curie was a pioneer, a scientist, and a revolutionary. The first woman to win a Nobel Prize. The only person in history to win it in two different fields. She unlocked the mysteries of radioactivity and changed the world forever. This is the story of Marie Curie, the mother of radiation. Marie Sklodowska was born in 1867 in Warsaw, Poland, a country then under Russian control. From a young age, she was exceptionally gifted, winning a gold medal at just 16 upon completing her secondary education. But despite her brilliance, higher education was not an option for women in Poland. Determined to learn, Marie joined an underground university, where lectures were held in secret. To support her studies and help her sister Bronislawa attend medical school in Paris, she worked as a governess for several years. At last, in 1891, Marie moved to Paris, enrolling at the Sorbonne. The transition was harsh. She lived in near poverty, studying by candlelight and often going without food. But her determination paid off. She finished first in her class in physics in 1893 and second in mathematics the following year. It was during this time that she met Pierre Curie, a brilliant physicist known for his work on magnetism. They were kindred spirits, drawn together by their love of science. The two married in 1895 and became inseparable partners in research. Their greatest breakthrough came in 1898 when they discovered two previously unknown elements, polonium, named after Marie's homeland, and radium. They realized these substances emitted a mysterious energy, a phenomenon Marie called radioactivity. The work was grueling. The Curies spent years processing tons of pitch blend, a mineral more radioactive than uranium in a drafty shed. They crushed, boiled, and separated it, slowly extracting minute amounts of radium. It was dangerous work, though they didn't yet understand the harmful effects of radiation. Pierre often carried radium samples in his pockets. Marie kept one by her bedside, fascinated by its eerie glow. They had no idea of the health risks. In 1903, Marie Curie became the first woman to win a Nobel Prize, sharing the physics award with Pierre and Henri Becquerel. But her name was almost left off the nomination. Only after a protest from a member of the Nobel Committee was she given the recognition she deserved. Tragedy struck in 1906. Pierre Curie was killed in a street accident leaving Marie a widow with two young daughters. Devastated but determined, she took over his teaching position at the Sorbonne, becoming the university's first female professor. In 1911, she won her second Nobel Prize, this time in chemistry, for isolating pure radium. To this day, she remains the only person to have won Nobel Prizes in two different sciences. During World War I, Marie put her scientific knowledge to practical use. She developed mobile X-ray units known as Little Curies, which were used on the battlefield to help doctors locate bullets and shrapnel in wounded soldiers. She personally trained women as X-ray technicians and even drove the units herself to the front lines. Her daughter, Irene Curie, followed in her footsteps, later winning a Nobel Prize alongside her husband, Frederick Joliot, for their work in artificial radioactivity. Marie Curie's discoveries transformed science, leading to advancements in medicine, physics, and chemistry. But the very thing she studied would ultimately take her life. Years of radiation exposure led to a plastic anemia, and in 1934, she passed away at the age of 66. In 1995, her ashes were enshrined in the Pantheon, making her the first woman to receive this honor for her own achievements. Her legacy lives on in hospitals, research labs, and nuclear science. Thanks to her work, radiation is used today to treat cancer, power our cities, and expand our understanding of the universe. Nothing in life is to be feared, it is only to be understood. Marie Curie didn't just change science, she changed the world. We hope you learned something new. To help us to bring you more interesting videos, remember to like, subscribe, and comment below. To learn more about JFK and his lasting legacy, click here.